Hey everyone, welcome back to our kitchen. My name is Emily and this is Brittany. We're two of Festival's Mealtime Mentors. Today we're making an Indian inspired slow cooker meal. Yeah, so today we're making slow cooker Indian masala. So we have a really great recipe for chicken tikka masala already on our blog, but this one's more of a plant-based recipe. Absolutely, and today's meal features pulses, which if you aren't familiar with what a pulse is, pulses mean a kind of a category of different foods, which include lentils, which we'll be using, beans and peas. So it's a great source, pulses are a great source of plant-based protein, which is something that we're striving to include more of in 2017. Absolutely. And I'm really excited to try this dish because I'm going to be honest, I don't eat a lot of lentils. Mm -hmm. I don't really know what to do with them. So I'm looking for a recipe where I can start to incorporate more of these into my diet. And the slow cooker is the perfect unintimidating way to oh, totally. cook lentils. Yeah, I agree. And we could definitely make it on the stove, but the slow cooker is easy because we can just throw everything in here. So. But before we add the lentils, we're going to start with our, some of our other ingredients. The first one being just some diced onion. So this is really the only real prep work you have to yes. do for this recipe is dicing this onion. Um, everything else is pretty much ready for pretty you. For you, yep. So we've minced some garlic, but you could really use jarred minced garlic too. So mm -hmm. to Make save you a step. easier. And I'm going to add some minced ginger, which again, you can use some ginger paste, which is really convenient. Yep, that's what I would probably use at home. Um, and then we're going to add our lentils. So these are green lentils. Mm -hmm. You could also use brown lentils. Um, both work just fine. I got these in our bulk section in our natural and organic department at Festival. And that's a really great section to shop from because you can buy the amount you need instead of that. buying a whole package. And lentils are really affordable too. Mm -hmm. So a little goes a long way and it's a great way to add affordable protein. Absolutely. And it's also great to kind of extend meat based dishes. You could use half and half. Uh, I've seen that done in hamburgers and meatballs, lasagna even. So a great way to kind of extend the meat. Yes. Um, and I do want to point out too, when you're shopping for lentils, they're, they are going to come dry. Mm -hmm. um, but you just would rinse them like you would with dried beans. You don't have to soak them like beans. No, you don't have to soak them. But just make sure you're cooking them in liquid. Yeah, so speaking of liquid, we're going to start with our vegetable broth, which is what we're going to use today. So we're just going to use a whole carton, about four cups of Which this. makes it really easy because you don't have to measure it if you just buy it in a carton like this. We're using Kitchen Basics unsalted vegetable stock. So again, limiting that sodium. Yep. Cool. All right. All right, I'm going to add some sugar and then some canned diced tomatoes, just the whole can. You don't have to drain it or anything, just dump it Get in there. Get a little bit more liquid in there as yeah. well. And again, you don't have to measure anything because you just use the whole can. Now I'm adding some tomato paste. Gives it a nice, uh, really great umami flavor. And that's just one little can of yep. tomato paste. Okay, some curry powder, so getting those Indian flavors going. And I'm going to continue that theme with some garam masala, which is just an Indian spice blend. Uh, really flavorful, really uh, makes your house smell wonderful. Yes, so dish. if you get nothing else out of this <laughs> recipe, at least your house is going to smell amazing. It already smells really good right now. So that's it. Okay. All we need to do is just stir it up. Well, let's use this guy. Oh, okay. I'd rather use this. Yeah, so we'll just give this a quick stir. And then um, we're ready to let it go. So either on high for three to four hours or on low for six to eight hours. And if you are cooking it on high, I would like to mention that you might want to keep an eye on it because the liquid will go rather quickly. So maybe adding some extra vegetable broth if you have it or maybe some uh, water would also work if it does seem to get a little bit dry. Yeah, definitely. Like Let's yeah move this guy out of our way. I'll bring this. We have some that we've already cooked. We're just going to add one more ingredient, which is our coconut milk. And this is just a can of coconut milk. We're using the light variety, and this will add just a nice creamy quality to this dish. Yes. So this is just the last step. You could um, also add uh, cayenne pepper or red chili powder yeah. um, to add a little kick. We're going to skip that today, though, and just go with the coconut milk. All right. I should have gotten a bigger bowl. <laughs> this is pretty full. As you can see, this is going to make up a, a lot of servings. So this could be really filling for You're a lot of people. You're doing a great people. job. I'm being careful. I don't want to make. Don't want to spill any of this goodness. <laughs> splash this all over. Okay. So I'm going to put some in a bowl. So we're just serving this over brown rice. This is steam fresh brown mm -hmm. rice. Again, a really convenient option. Um, you could totally use quinoa too, yep. whatever you prefer. Quinoa would be great. Mm-hmm. 
All right. And combining the lentils and a uh, whole grain is a great way to get a vegetarian source of complete protein. Yeah. So another reason why we want to serve this with a whole grain. All right. I'm ready to start loving lentils. Let's find out. <laughs> wow. Lots of flavor there, isn't there? There is a lot of flavor mm -hmm. there. That's really good. And that was super easy, too. Well, we hope you give this simple slow cooker recipe a try. For more resources and recipes from your mealtime mentors, visit fezfoods.com.